We're in the middle of the construction of the Texas Twister rocket kit. If you're interested in this rocket, this is where you should be. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, in this step, and this is the third installment in this video, so if you missed the previous ones, at the end of this video, or down there at the bottom um, on the YouTube page, you'll see links to the previous videos. In this step, we're going to start assembling the fins. Um, our first step is to remove them from the balsa sheet. Some of them will, will fall right out. Um, some of them, um, the die cut didn't go all the way through, so just take your hobby knife and just run it around the perimeter. To release them from the wood. And now don't forget these little pieces here. These are the rubber band hooks and the, the stops that set the correct angle for the blades or the, the flaps on the on the helicopter. Okay, so that's the first one. Come on. Another one want to come out. Some tough wood. Probably why I didn't get die cut all the way. Okay, so that's one. Um, and I'll do the number two and number three in a little bit. Um, so now the edges, we're just going to just lightly sand them. And you should stack these up when you do these. I'll show you how to stack them up. Because you want them all the same shape. Where this is some really tight hard wood, which is really nice. I like hard wood. See the little fringes on them? Well, when you stack them all together, and you'll do this with the third one too. So you always do three at a time. So you can just sand them and make sure that all the fins have the same shape. Just like that. And you'll want to do all these little pieces too. So these are going to be six of these. So you'll stack sand them. Now in video number one, or the number two, number two, we already sanded the surface. Um, so that does not need to be done. Now this, round, this rounded edge here, that's the leading edge of the fin. So you can also round those over if you'd like. It'll make the rocket fly a little bit higher because it reduces the drag. Okay, now this piece here is the is the flap right here on the rocket. Um, this piece um, I like to seal with super glue because um, I want it really strong because it takes a lot of abuse. So I'm going to cover my work table with a piece of plastic and I'm going to get some paper towels, and I'm going to use water thin super glue. Um, as you can see in the bottle, it's just like water. It's very so it can splash into your eyes, and you don't want it in your eyes, so always wear safety glasses. Um, I'm going to um, paint this on. And what this does is it penetrates into the fibers and toughens up the wood. Um, now I'm also going to do the, the trailing edge of this fin, 
but I only need to do one side. So I want you to take a look at your instructions and it says to uh, look at the orientation because the orientation is critical. They all have to be the same way. So I want to I want to put glue on this edge, not this edge, because that's the way it looks in the in the illustration. I just want to do a strip about that long. Um, now I'm going to go back to this tab. Now the glue on this side has mostly cured because it is super glue and it, it does cure pretty quick. So you paint it on and then you wipe it off and your paper towel will get stiff after the glue hardens. sticking to my finger a little bit. That's okay. Um, I'm also going to do these little pieces here. Um, they're a little harder to hold, so I'm just going to lay them on the table. Flip them over and do the other side. Okay, now this one here, I'm not sticking anymore, so that means it's cured. Um, on this, now I'm going to re, re sand the surface. And it's going to be nice and smooth now. All right, now. Um, you have to pick one edge as the trailing edge. Doesn't matter which, because uh, they're going to be glued like this. Um, and I want to um, sand this down a little bit. It doesn't say this to do this in the instructions. But you see here, I want this edge a little bit in from this edge. Just a little bit, and get some clearance on the tube. See that? Oops, I'm lining up this edge here on the back. You can see it's it's just a little bit shorter. Okay, and I'm going to make this my trailing edge, so I'm going to round that off. And again, this will reduce the drag, just like that. Okay, remember that hinge tape that I was talking about previously in the first video? Now's the time we're going to use it. And these pieces right here, we're going to sand these too. Okay. Now the hinge tape needs to be as long as the uh, piece of the fin tab. So you're going to cut this into three pieces. Okay, that's one. Uh, this one's going to be a little shorter. It's okay. I'm going to cut it right in the middle. Now that's our hinge. And this is called a living hinge because it, it it's going to bend back and forth on itself. It doesn't have a hinge pin in it. Okay, so we're going to take the um, pieces and we're going to glue them. But before I do that, we're going to do that in the next video. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you hanging here because I want to show you a little trick that makes this a lot easier. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. 
Uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.